What up, y'all? So, Carlissa went live, girl. Carlissa Krishan Jr.'s granny, a.k.a. Um, <laughs> Blueface's mama chat. She went live and went completely off on Blueface's father. Now, first of all, I feel like she got every right to go off on him. He do too much. Um, in the area of if you was not there taking care of him and she was baby you need to go ahead and sit this one out huh this ain't even your fight that's not even your game to play because why would you do that to yourself okay now for some reason he feels as though um he's the daddy of the year and carlissa be lying now but i do believe uh her when she keeps saying that he stole a hundred thousand dollars from Bluefoot. Um, probably a hundred thousand dollars went missing. He probably known for stealing, and she probably, you know, blamed him for it. It's either that, or she just know for a fact that that man stole that money because she know he trifling. Now you got to remember, he and her had a thing before Blueface was even born, right? So she would know that, you know, she would know the type of person he is per se. So. I kind of think that that's what happened and you know she went in on this nigga like she talking about the tax paperwork how he on he was on child support how Bluefus had to spend the money that they garnished from his taxes in college I'm talking about she went dumb on this man and it's the funniest thing in the world I'm not gonna lie because <laughs> like sometimes you got to put these baby daddies in they in a place and for those that don't know i absolutely am a third parent and a baby mama baby daddy situation with children and it is a very very real thing like it is a very very much so realistic thing you really go through certain stuff with these these trifling ass men okay so i feel like um in this situation right here she just might not be lying um but i could be absolutely wrong but y'all will be able to see through it he um spoke about how her and her husband not doing too good right now you know and um just saying a bunch of bull that you know and then he really like riding blue face right now like oh i really missed my son Oh my God, I just wish my son was there. I wish I had my son. And for a while, we didn't even know where he was at. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, he over that house sitting the dog girl. The dog's in the house and she is going in on this man. So y'all let me know what y'all think about it down in the comment section below because it is hilarious to me. And yeah, y'all just give me y'all synopsis on what you think really happened or what's really happening in your baby daddy situation, okay? Hell yeah. Good morning, y'all. Hate to always have to come at such terrible circumstances. There's some liars in this world, boy. There's some liars out here, child. <laughs> that ninja couldn't tell y'all what junior high or high school my son went to. The only reason he know what college he went to is because I invited him. I was nothing but nice to you. I've never spoke anything down or negative. I never told your son you was a bum ass, homeless ass, drunk ass. I never told my son what you really was and what you was really about. And then he had to find out the hard way when you robbed him. Literally robbed him. I'm gonna interview your family. I'm gonna interview JC and I'm gonna interview Suzette. I'm gonna interview your daughters too. We gonna let the people know. I don't know why y'all keep trying to come for me and my character. Like it's common sense. I did my job. I got the high school diploma. Ask him if he was the daddy. Why don't he got it? My daddy got mine. Your daddy got yours, right? <laughs> I got 
high school diploma, all three of them upstairs. Ain't nobody asked for him. Ain't nobody asked for a copy of him. He couldn't tell you what my son's GPA was when he graduated. I included him and involved him like a mother should. That man literally sat in my face and told me he couldn't stand that retarded ass girl and she was gonna take his son down. That's why he up over there. Now tell the lady the truth. You don't like her. You don't like what she stand for. Tell her what you told me and Jaden when we went over there. Stop faking and stop lying. If I start posting your real ass text messages, letting her know how you really feel about her. Why you really up over there. It's just becoming a nuisance. Now, if you wanted some clout, you could have just asked for it. I would have just gave you some. You ain't seen them other daughters of yours or them other grandkids of yours in a month, a year of Sundays. Cause you don't give a f about them cause they ain't got no clout and they ain't got no money. Who have a whole daughter and don't f with that babe, grandbaby, but you over there with Riri messing with her. Good job, Krishan, not giving him no clout, girl. Cause as soon as you give it to him, he gonna rob your ass just like he did his own son. Good job not posting his page and giving him what he want. Cause I ain't posting it neither. I would have just gave you the shit. When my son graduated high school, he was on my husband's, my husband's, make sure y'all get this now. Cause if I gotta go pull the records, I will. On my husband's medical and dental insurance. Now, why the f are you anywhere near anybody asking for anything if my husband that you say is getting ready to leave me had your child on medical and dental? Paying for your son's medical and dental. We just trying to figure out where the hell you, which rock you done crawled up out of. Now, we know you were staying up over there with, them, with that illegal immigrant lady most of your life trying to trick that lady into doing what you say do to get her them papers. You didn't love that lady neither. You was just over there trying to have her be a slave, an illegal immigrant slave for you. I talked to the lady, I know what you did to her. Up over there making her do all this, this and that for you cause so she could get some, illegal, some legal paperwork. Shame on you for coming on here trying to talk badly about me, knowing that you thanked me. Thanked me and honored me for raising your child to be such a good stand-up citizen and getting him a college degree and getting him what your mama didn't get you. Now, his mama left him at 15 years old in the house, an empty, abandoned house. She left him there. And his daddy was a crackhead. So why it, it, <laughs> he lucked up on me because he had a big so-and-so. <laughs> and a fake ass I'll be sure smile, okay? And I felt bad for him at the time. But don't get on here and try to act like you was on my level. Nigga, you wasn't nowhere ever allowed nowhere I was at or my kids was at. Now get on here and tell these people the truth on here talking about my husband leaving me. If my husband leave me, who gonna pay, who gonna pay for your son's uh, dent, uh, dental and uh, insurance that just fell off when he turned 28? Now don't make me get on here and tell the truth. You don't know where my son went to school in junior high. You can't tell these people what insurance I used to have his knee fixed. And I didn't just have my son knee fixed, y'all. I have my son knee fixed at UCLA. So if you know, you know, okay? He didn't go to the little Cigna plan, the little with the Medi-Cal, no, sir. <laughs> we had good insurance then too, okay? My son got his knee fixed at UCLA. Now ask that did he talk to anybody in the billing department? Which person did you talk to? Okay, because every time they brought a bill, your ass ran out. This m showed up, no lie, my right hand, left hand to God. Showed up to get my baby circumcised with a, with a m piggy bank. It was only $150. He showed up with a piggy bank and then tried to argue with me about getting my tubes tied. Nigga, I'm not never having another kid for somebody to show up with a piggy bank full of coins to get the circumcision for $150. You're done, we're done having children here. So yes, I got my tubes tied and he, cause he was my husband, he tried to argue with me and tell me he wasn't signing that paper and his sister signed it for me. 
hello somebody so yes my tubes were tied yes you wasn't no getting no more kids out of me you was right they was tied <laughs> you didn't know jokes on you you wasn't getting no more sons out of me you couldn't pay for the first one okay i had to find somebody to help do that okay you're illiterate your family's illiterate you came from illiterate stock stop acting like you somebody you not now, I ain't never ever said nothing bad about you in front of my son because I didn't want him to know he came from a piece of sh background. Now, I did you a favor. I let you come stay at my house when you was homeless, even though I had a man in there. My son said, my daddy outside in the car and he ain't got nowhere to go and it's cold outside. I let your ass come and get in my son's twin bed with him. Now, my other kids could vouch for this because they was there too. I let your ass come into my house and you get on this internet and try to dog somebody that let you lay your ass down. My husband upstairs sleep. We finna celebrate our eighth anniversary. We ain't going nowhere. We the only in the circus with stability, okay? We the only that's watching this whole play out because we've been there for all our kids the whole way through. My husband didn't even have matching socks when I met him paying two big child support and letting them and one of the kids live with him okay that's what real men do now i don't know what the f jonathan daddy was running around doing but he wasn't doing what my husband was doing okay i met my husband in jonathan's junior year of high school he immediately put him on his medical and his dental so that my son could go to college like the rest of the people with medical insurance and dental insurance so somebody could keep on talking they keep on walking but my husband knows the truth and that's the only person in this world and him and God that matter okay my husband I've been to the prison to visit my son that's in jail and didn't even know him when he went to jail let's talk about where his wife is at okay where your wife at now you running around here with some woman that got three kids and you told me that woman you knew that woman was with you for the blue face clout you knew that woman don't really like you you know it. You using her for a little bit of ass and coochie here and there. You know it. You told me that out your own mouth, my right hand to God. You got her a place in Vegas, and it was too far from the blue face clout, so she left you, moved back to Sacramento. Now, how I know your business if you didn't tell me? Now, keep talking, and I'm going to keep talking. Now, if you don't get on here and start telling these the truth, I'm going to start telling them the truth. I'm going to pull out them child support bills that your ass was going to go to jail for until they took your taxes. Now, I'm such a G about it. When they took his taxes and put that child support on that card, I gave it to Jonathan. Jonathan went to college with about $5,000 on a card that his daddy had to pay back child support. I didn't keep your money. I had a real ass husband that don't let me keep other niggas money. Okay, I gave your son that car. So if you want to be mad at somebody about the child support, boo, you need to be mad at your son. He put you on child support. He went down there and told him people your name when you disappeared for the 99th time and it was time for him to go to prom and you wasn't showing up with But you're going to get on here and talk your talk about a woman that got your son all the way to college when all your homeboys' kids didn't get to go didn't get no scholarship no matter how big how strong or how tall them was or how long they actually threw the ball with your son and you, you didn't do shit. but I got your son up out the hood and off to college yes I did and you thanked me for that back then but what you doing now does not represent who you are or what you going through so I'm gonna let you have a pass for you to get you some clout you do what you got to do but baby when I got my clout I told the truth I don't have nothing to look back on, okay? Ain't no Wendy Williams in my skeleton in my closet. Whatever I said happened, okay? I, I'm not gonna lie for the clout. So for you to get on here and lie for the clout and not be real about it, you gotta be a fool. It's only gonna take about five minutes before whack post that paperwork that you stole and robbed your son of $100,000, okay? Who steals from their own son, then go up over there and tell them, I'm gonna live here and take care of the dogs in the house. You better. You got a hundred thousand before he even signs his deal. Never even told him about it. We not the same, bro. We not gonna never be the same. I don't steal from my kids. I give to my kids. Okay. That's why we ain't gonna never be the same. 
I know your mama left you at 15 in the abandoned building for you to starve and fend for yourself, but I wasn't that mother. I gave your son a good ass house, a good ass life. Your son lived in a million dollar house when he graduated, okay? Your son went to junior high school from a million dollar crib. We never ever saw you once, okay? We never saw you once. You, got to, you, you took him to play football in your area. I let y'all have a year of football. He got his knee hurt at your house. You didn't even have insurance to take my son to get his knee fixed. Let's talk about it. Who got, your, who got my son knee fixed after you let him get hurt and let it linger for like six months? They told my son he could never play sports again. You know what I did? I went over to UCLA and I got the best doctor. I paid the deductible. I got the special insurance. I did the white people and got my baby's knee fixed. You know what that it cried showed up and cried because they said he couldn't play no more you know what i did i swung that knee by the church house after i let the human people fix it and i let jesus put an anointing on it and my son played the rest of his whole high school all all through college no no problems at all you couldn't do that you know why you couldn't do that because you're not saved you didn't do that because you're not baptized you don't even know where your son got baptized do you you don't even know what church your son got baptized in. How does a parent not know where the f they child got baptized? You don't know what junior high school I put him in. You don't even know what grades he graduated with. You just was happy to show up and take him because I allowed you because I had to work. I allowed you to go to his college visit so y'all could have a moment together. Did I not do that for you? When my son wanted me to go and I had to work. You know why I had to work? Because grownups work. I don't know what the f you were doing out selling your t-shirts or whatever the f you was doing it wasn't paying no bills it didn't pay no rent and you your ass was over there using uh, y'all mexicans need to know this he used molly the maid okay he used that until she was dry to the bone tricked her and helped dangled that paperwork over her head i'm gonna get you your citizenship i'm gonna get you your citizenship it took about 10 years for that to actually give her that citizenship because she wised up and was going to go get that shit from another nigga, okay? She, he went and got her that citizenship, but it took about 10 years of treating that like Molly the maid. Now, ask me how I know because I spent the night at a hotel with her and his mama convincing her to stay with him so that he could get his weekends at her house and continue to visit his son and not be homeless. That's how I know. Now, wherever she at, my right hand of God, you can ask that woman, okay? I have always been team him try to get your shit together so you don't embarrass my son amongst other men. Now, I did that for you. Now, you want to hop on here because Rock ain't posting your shit because she ain't giving you no shout out and try to take it from me. You was over there with Jaden. Then all of a sudden, now you switching up. No, I didn't never switch up. No, no. Jaden got mad at me and wasn't with me. So I'm like, shit for me there's no reason for me to have sit here and, and, and pretend like she with me what's your name is baby oh your name Krishan okay how you doing and my son will tell you even behind the scenes I told him you can't move this lady in here while that other lady pregnant that's evil and is demonic okay I didn't just let her just come in like you over there pretending to be grandpa daddy you on with her she this she dragging your son down she that we had a whole conversation before you tricked me into taking you to my son's house after you robbed him okay somebody let's talk about it i did tell my son that's your father i don't care how much money he took from you you can ask whack this is the god's honest truth i ain't gonna never lie for no clout i'm gonna get my clout off these circus telling the truth on they okay because who leaves their 15 year old in an apartment and runs off with a woman his mama not his son's mama his mama your son had a damn good mama i fought the whole way through for your son y'all gonna stop playing with my name because god obviously god ain't listening to what y'all saying because i'm still elevating <laughs> i'm not over there changing the dog you are okay i'm not over there pretending to be grandpa you are stay in your place that's what you do Stay in your place before I post your sorry ass, fake ass tax returns and your child support bill. Stay in your place. Don't get on here talking about my husband leaving me. I rebuke that in the name of Jesus. 
We are going on eight years of stability. We are not you. We're not your son. We're not Andre. We ain't none of y'all. Okay, we done fought through this storm together. We done been together six kids. He got three, I got three. A crazy ass circus ass Brady bunch. But we the problem. You running around here doing weird shit, but we the problem. Okay. Um, yeah, so we'll be celebrating all of our, all of April because that's our eighth anniversary year. And um, <laughs> when your old ass wrinkle up and sizzle away, I don't want to hear no. I don't want to hear it because <laughs> we already know <laughs> how how we already know what it's gonna do. Okay, your daddy's a crackhead. Your mama left you <laughs> to be with another woman. She's still with that woman. I'm, I'm assuming that's why she left you, because your ass was weird. Because um, who leaves their 15-year-old child? <laughs> this don't got a don't got a high school diploma. Didn't graduate high school. You don't. You, you we not the same. We don't have the same ethics. We didn't come from the same. Okay, you're nobody in LA. You've been nobody in LA. You always gonna be nobody in LA. You're gonna be blue face blue face son forever. Okay. Who the it just the simple fact that y'all on here talking to me about a that <laughs> stole a hundred thousand dollars from his son before he could even sign his deal. My son couldn't even sign his deal comfortably because he had to go have whack muscle these out of the damn money that they were stealing in the paperwork. Come on now, I ain't never stole none in my life since I was about eighteen years old. I stole some nail polish. I don't steal. My kids don't steal. My my son ain't even like you. So, um, yeah, that's the tea for the day. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and finish enjoying my man and my husband, okay? I did almost lose him last night. I ain't going to lie. I almost, 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 almost f***ed up last night, but it's cool. We still in the game. Uh-uh, ain't, ain't no lie. I don't have nothing to lie about. You can check my records. That don't got a GED or a PFP or a sh Okay, that a whole weirdo. Okay, a robber and a thief. He stole our rent money, and that's why we got divorced. And he stole our rent money when my son was six weeks old. We was divorced by the time my son was one. What is you talking about? Stole our rent money to go try to flip it in Vegas. By the time he got back, I had another nigga in the house making sure he didn't try to bogart his way in there. Because my name is not... Conchita. Okay, I got my paperwork. You came, you he couldn't muscle me like that. <laughs> I have my paperwork. And I know Pookie and Dookie them. They came and set up shop at my house and made sure that didn't try to uh do no funny shit on me like he did with his next wife, okay? And she was only his wife because she she needed them papers. Go ask her, okay? Go ask her. I'm gonna put my exes on my podcast. I bet you them. I'm a good stand-up citizen and a mother, okay? <laughs> I made $100,000 a year in my 20s. What is he talking about? We don't know you. We do not know you. Girl, about to line them up, okay? Because ain't nobody got bad to say about me. Except for I worked a lot. Yes, I did. I worked a lot and I provided a lot to my kids and I did spoil my kids and that's some stuff. Don't do it. I do not suggest doing it. I still spoil my kids. <laughs> I still made a way out of no way for my kids to this day. And if you know, you know. If you don't, keep on trying to figure it the in the meantime, I'm going to be right here riding Mr. Sappho early in the morning before work and hopping in my jacuzzi to soothe my pussy. Okay? <laughs> what else? Girl, they, they, they over here trying to play games on me because they know I got the bag coming. They over here trying to play with me. <laughs> you can't play with me. <laughs> you 
No, sir. <laughs> Not the one. This we we out in Florida for my son um fight. What was that like two years ago? When was the fight, y'all? Y'all know we was out there. This walks off holding Javon's hand. We find Javon at the bottom of the swimming pool. J Andre, to be exact, finds Javon at the swimming pool while the daddy on the phone arguing. This is my right, my left hand and right hand to God, y'all. He on the phone arguing with a Section 8 troll, half his age, because you know he like him half his age, because he can't play them games on grown ass women. Half his age. That's gonna hear I'm blue face daddy, I got blue face money. Nigga, no, you don't. You ain't never had a dollar, okay? Ever. I had to Uber, work a job, and go to college to make sure his son got a scholarship. Where was he at? Because if he would have paid child support, I didn't have to do all that. Girl, yes, Javon just floating. If I'm lying, how I'm going to lie? His mama and his grandma on, on the internet. How can I lie about that? Now, why the granddaddy walk off with, that's why Jaden didn't let him see her son for a long time and said, and John told him, you can't never take my kids nowhere. And he, his dad cried real tears to me. He said, I can't never take the grandkids nowhere. You almost let them drown. Why would anyone let you take their kids across the street? Everybody that's a parent know you don't let a child out of your sight if you at the pool. He on the phone arguing, just arguing with the about being thrown out the Section 8 house. Who cares? Arguing on the phone with a Section 8. I know that girl in here somewhere, that one bedroom girl with that Section 8, with that child that threw him out. Where are you? I would love to interview you too, Miss Lady. We're going to get the truth out one day. We're going to get all the truth out. Beyond the clout. We're going to get all the truth out. I did my job. I worked 12 hours a day to put a roof over his son's head. Put his, his son through college and didn't miss a beat. His son had coaches, reading coaches, tutors, and some more shit that he don't could never imagine what it took me to get his son that scholarship. And my son didn't just get no scholarship for just sports. He was academically sound eligible, no probation. Okay, there was no hold on his There was no probation. He played his first year in ninth grade. Y'all and y'all know who know. You can't just get no scholarship because you an athlete. Nigga, you gotta have grades. You gotta have community service hours. You got to have a good criminal record. Do y'all have any idea what I did to get my kids two scholarships? This ain't no game. What is y'all talking about? Go look that up. My kids got two NCAA scholarships. Not no bullshit. Not no I was at junior college about to get one like y'all talking about them other No, ma'am. Now I know I was over there going to get my grades up and get my GPA up to get my scholarship. No, full-blown, full-ride scholarship, fresh out of high school, two of them. Now, please tell me who the f is doing that with no baby daddy. Y'all going to stop playing with my name. I'm about to spit on these. Come see about these. You must don't even have a clue what the I've been through, okay? I don't give a f what you talking about. It's my I was standing next to my couples, millionaires, with waiting in line for their kid to get done, paying fifty dollars an hour. They tipping. I couldn't afford to tip. Sorry, coaches. I know them is tipping y'all good. I'm standing there with the from Sierra Canyon and I'm standing there with the Shamana. Y'all in LA know. Blue standing behind these in line for his arm coach. That's why these parents is looking at y'all like, damn, this was on her shit. Y'all playing with my name. My son was standing behind the Sierra Canyon. You know who go to Sierra Canyon? The Kardashians. I'm a single mother of three kids. My daughter only took a CSUN scholarship because she was on a torn ACL. Now, which 
you know, still get a scholarship on a torn ACL. Don't play no, don't play no CSUN shit on me. My daughter was heavily recruited from USC. Go ESPN, my daughter. Don't come no use. You can't. If you make you if you make the top ten on ESPN, you know. If you know, you know. Now, but I don't got time to explain it to you, dumb. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. My daughter had a full ride scholarship with a torn ACL. She signed her paperwork on crutches. Where the f they do that at? Callie signed her scholarship next to Brianna better than them that go to my, um, where Brianna go? Somebody tell me where Brianna went to school at. Tell me right now. What's the school? Because I know y'all know. My daughter played for Tarasi. $10,000, $15,000 a year. Okay? She signed a scholarship on crutches. Where the f do they do that at? you talking about i slept at pepperdine i i slept at usc them had me in a penthouse they wanted my bag okay they treated me like pure royalty my daughter tore her acl in front of all coaches all major california coaches where do the samsons the samuel sisters go that's the them is Kelly's teammates was millionaires back then. My single mother broke ass working 12 hours a day to pay to stand next to these so my kids could get the same opportunity these was getting. What are you talking about? Y'all don't know the game over here. You don't know shit. I've been carrying my low. I'm still carrying my low. That's why you be mad. Let's talk about it. She went to CSUN. She signed at CSUN. She signed at CSUN on crutches. What are you talking about? Tell me one who signed a full ride scholarship on crutches. Limping. Mine. That's who. She still got a deal. She still got a deal. And she wasn't no cheerleader. She was a power um one and a two and if you go ef check her on espn you will find my kids on espn back then they've been signing deals they've been signing deals before we met you i was out hustling way before this now i know some of y'all might have got y'all kids um <laughs> a probationary scholarship you know the grades one right they didn't play that good no i made sure you talking about that nigga don't even know who his arm coach was that white man standing next to my son right now handles all major athletes okay he, he pulled up on the signing day because we didn't know if john's daddy was gonna pull up or not i invited your broke ass to everything i didn't have to do that you didn't help pay for i didn't have to invite you to I still had your broke bum ass standing next to my son. I never talked about my son's father to him. I never told John, even when he stole that $100,000, my right and my left hand to God, even when he stole that $100,000, I looked my son in the face and said, that's your dad, son. No matter what kind of dad God give you, that's still your dad. You don't let no that that's manage you that's gonna come get some money from your ass too tell you not to with your dad that's your dad no matter if your dad stole from you got a crackhead dad whatever kind of parents y'all have that's still your dad it don't matter i didn't have to do that i could have said that nigga <laughs> get him on up out of here you rich now we don't need that did i say that no i said let your broke ass bum ass daddy come in here and eat on your table still now i'm gonna find your nephew that you robbed him with and I'm going to get that interview out of him because the nephew said you took all the money and blanked it on him. Either way it go, you never told my son there was $100,000 and he running around jumping on cars doing free concerts and you watching my baby out there sweating the heat while y'all asses is collecting my baby's check. Don't think I forgot just because I forgave. Don't think I forgot just because I forgave. And don't ever think because I forgave you, I haven't told God about it.
You will not eat off my son's plate. You will not. You or them that tried to turn him against me, you will starve in this land because you did not bear no sacrifice to my child or for my child. You must all that think your hands is out, every dollar you get is going to float away. You're going to starve if it's, if it's concerning mine just for talking about me. Bet you don't eat. Bet your grandkids don't eat neither. What you talking about? Now, I done had enough about y'all playing with my name. I stood on my feet so much long I got bunions and my feet had to get surgery. I don't give a f what y'all talking about. And none of you work 12 hours a day to hand a white your got whole goddamn check just to teach your son how to throw a ball or to teach your son how to read at these white folks level. Now don't let none of these fake fool you. I'm the only one who can't spell. I went to college and I still can't spell. But Jonathan, Janice, and Andre, these is faking. They're fakes and they're frauds. All of them is faking. These read their scholarship contract before they signed it. When they were 17 years old, they was on the hot list for, for colleges since they was in eighth grade. My kids been signing contracts since they was five years old. Blueface had $100,000 in the bank at six years old. What did y'all think this is? I'm not you, you not me. Get on your game though. Don't be sitting up here hating because I stayed on mine. Yes, I didn't get to be that mother at home that got to hug and wipe her, wipe the kids' boo-boos and kiss them and do all of this. But I was that mother who came home and made sure that tutor got that homework right. I was that mother. You, when I asked him where my son took his SAT test, if he's a real father, because my husband know, because he paid for it. Ask that mother where my son took his SATs. And he didn't say, my son only had to take SATs one time. Now, some of y'all don't know what we talking about, and that's okay you don't know. That's your mama fault. My, that was my mama fault too, I didn't know neither. But you who, who take SATs, who got your kids in SAT prep and all that, you know what the f I'm talking about. When I say Jonathan took his SAT one time when the Sierra Canyon rich had fake ass people come, I don't think I don't know. I seen Billy show up for Tyrone. Billy was not Tyrone, and Tyrone wasn't Billy. Billy showed up. Y'all paid them motherfucker five thousand, sometimes ten thousand dollars to go in there and take that SAT test. No, my son showed up as fucking Porter with his broke ass mama paying for class after practice after practice. I was practicing for SAT since fucking grade. When he sat down and took the fucking test, he was the first one up in. If you know, you know. Jonathan and Callie took SATs. Boom, done. One deal, one done. Okay, Callie took it twice. I'm lying. Callie took it twice. Callie took it twice. But that's because she had ADHD. Callie took the SATs twice. Blue took the SAT once. Dre went to jail while he was studying for his. Hello, somebody. I know, I know you don't know. I know you don't know nothing about what it takes to pass an SAT. Motherfucker can't tell you where my son took his SAT at. He don't know. He don't even know how much it costs. He don't, he couldn't tell you where my son to ask motherfucker. Where did your son take his SATs in 10th grade? Not 11th grade, not 12th grade. My son passes SATs in 10th grade. Ask motherfucker where? If you a mother in here, you know what I'm talking about. If you a real mother, these motherfuckers, this ain't for you. I'm only talking motherfuckers on my level. I'm not talking motherfuckers whose mama left them in the goddamn crack house or walked off bitch and was gay for the rest of her life and fuck her kids. I'm not talking motherfuckers. I'm talking about the mothers who is right now either having their kids practice them SATs or studying to take them or just took them or got motherfuckers again because they didn't pass what the, what the college requirement was because you can't just get a scholarship baby you got to pass fucking SATs hand that paper over to them white people just to get into that schoolhouse come on somebody
Uh-uh, I didn't get, I didn't get one kid SAT and NCAA approved, ESPN top one, 100, top, top 10. I had two, a boy and a girl. All Leo. Yes, all me. Call what the fuck you want to. You motherfuckers. And my son who went to my son who went to prison, I still got his diploma upstairs. I got his good enough diploma. My son took my son got his good enough diploma in jail. In his 11th grade year. Okay? Fuck is you talking about? I got three high school diplomas and still got a diploma out the one that went to jail. Come on somebody. Motherfucking mama do not have three high school diplomas. I don't give a fuck what you say. Fuck. I got three. My husband got three. My husband got a, a, a college degree. Uh, his, his daughter got a college degree. Come on. Where they at? We got motherfucking degrees in this house that say we got motherfucking job as parents. Because I motherfuckers is wrestling with them damn high school diplomas fuck now getting them d's and them f's hopping on instagram motherfucker who got straight a's and straight b's students okay now y'all can say it three points you say it was college eligible okay now shout out to motherfuckers that's getting kids with them 3.8s and them 4.0s hallelujah thank you jesus to you my kids was full-time athletes and full-time students at the highest level in the game. Kelly played for Diana Taurasi for three years on the top team. ESPN, Nike, fuck is you talking about? From a single mom. Now make sure you add all of my statistics up, bitch, when you doing your numbers. Add my statistics up. Put that single mom tweet, bitch, and then tell me where you land. You could Google where I was supposed to land. And I guarantee you, it ain't where your ass is at. It ain't never. I put in blood, sweat, and fucking tears. I got off my long day at the motherfucking mall, 12 hour days as a mall manager. Then went in that fucking car and Uber for 